So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So we've got a real special event on September the 9th in California. We've got three big fights in the super flyweight division headlining the card. Tom Loeffler is putting on this card in California and it's going to be headlined by Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. The title of this event is obviously called Superfly, so all the ladies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. But yeah, Roman Chocolito Gonzalez will be headlining against Saul Vai in his rematch for the WBC Superflyweight title. Roman Gonzalez lost his unbeaten record to Vai via majority decision on the Gennady Golovkin Danny Jacobs undercard in March in a very, very good fight. It was an absolute war. Going into the fight, Roman Gonzalez was 46-0 with 38 knockouts and the pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the world. This is a man from Nicaragua who came up through poverty, came up through the smallest weight division in boxing, straw weight, as it's called nowadays, minimum weight, winning titles at that weight and at light flyweight, flyweight and then super flyweight. So he is a four-division world champion at only, what, 30 years old. This is a real, real good fighter, and he's trying to avenge his loss to um, Rungzavai, who, going into the fight against Chocolatito, was an unknown fighter. A lot of people just saw him as a guy Chocolatito was just going to walk through, but he really took the fight to Chocolatito, shocking everyone, dropping Chocolatito in the first round, busting him open, and it was a real hard-fought battle between the two men. A lot of people thought that Chocolatito came back into the fight and did enough to win, but obviously Rungzavai's good start really got him the decision in the end so yeah this will be a real good fight i think the rematch chocolatito will be on the warpath trying to get his super flyweight crown back and then you've got on the undercard the monster the japanese fighter naoya anu 24 years old two-weight world champion he's only had what about 11 or 12 fights so far in his professional career and is already a two-weight world champion at light flyweight and now super flyweight this man really does live up to his name i've seen clips of him online go check him out if you haven't and this guy is a real special fighter in my opinion and i think the american fans will like this guy's style because he is a knockout artist 13 and 0 yeah he's 13 and 0 with 11 knockouts so yeah this guy has a real exciting style that i think the american fans will like and i think the super flyweight division is a real division that's really been put on the map thanks to guys like Chocolatito and guys like Naoya, Anu and Kajaris and yeah I think this could be a very very good card it could be one of the cards of the year because the fights could end up being absolute wars you've got Kajaris on the undercard versus Estrada Francisco Estrada who's fought Chocolatito in the past as well so all these guys have been fighting each other obviously Kajaris fought Chocolatito last September losing a close 12 round unanimous decision to Chocolatito so these guys are just always in wars in close fights and it's just a real interesting division and then you've got Cal Yafai the WBA champion from Britain from Birmingham who could be added to this mix as well like this could be one of the best divisions in boxing and in the past it was seen as a very obscure non-glamorous division and thanks to guys like Chocolatito fighting on Gennady Golovkin's undercards like it's really put these divisions on the map like the flyweight super flyweights bantam weights like these guys are really getting a name for themselves and i think they should a lot of people just write them off because they think oh they're smaller guys they're not really entertaining to watch they haven't really got much punching power and stuff like that but i'm telling you now these guys get into absolute wars and some of the fights are better than the glamorous divisions than the middleweights the heavyweights so i think yeah this card's going to be very good check it out on september the 9th i know i will comment below in the comment section